up to Lesson 68 from the workbook of A Course in Miracles. Lesson 68, Love Holds No Grievances. Love Holds No Grievances. You who were created by love, like itself, can hold no grievances and know yourself. To hold a grievance is to forget who you are. To hold a grievance is to see yourself as a body. To hold a grievance is to let the ego rule your mind and to condemn the body to death. Perhaps you do not yet realize just what holding grievances does to your mind. It seems to split you off from your source and make you unlike him. It makes you believe that he is like what you think you have become, for no one can conceive of his creator as unlike himself. Shut off from yourself, which remains aware of its likeness to its creator, yourself seems to sleep while the part of your mind that weaves illusions in its sleep appears to be awake. Can all this arise from holding grievances? Oh, yes. For he who holds grievances denies he was created by love, and his creator has become fearful to him in his dream of hate. Who can dream of hatred and not fear God? It is as sure that those who hold grievances will redefine God in their own image as it is certain that God created them like himself and defined them as part of him. It is as sure that those who hold grievances will suffer guilt as it is certain that those who forgive will find peace. It is as sure that those who hold grievances will forget who they are as it is certain that those who forgive will remember. Would you not be willing to relinquish your grievances if you believed all this were so? Perhaps you do not think you can let your grievances go. That, however, is simply a matter of motivation. Today we will try to find out how you would feel without them. If you succeed, even by ever so little, there will never be a problem in motivation ever again. Begin today's extended practice period by searching your mind for those against whom you hold what you regard as major grievances. Some of these will be quite easy to find. Then think of all the seemingly minor grievances you hold against those who you like and even think you love it will quickly become apparent that there is no one against whom you do not cherish grievances of some sort. This has left you alone in all the universe in your perception of yourself. Determine now to see all these people as friends. Say to them all, thinking of each one in turn as you do so, I would see you as my friend that I may remember you are part of me and come to know myself. Spend the remainder of the practice period trying to think of yourself as completely at peace with everyone and everything, safe in a world that protects you and loves you and that you love in return. Try to feel safety surrounding you, hovering over you, and holding you up. Try to believe, however briefly, that nothing can harm you in any way. At the end of the practice period, tell yourself, love holds no grievances. When I let all my grievances go, I will know I am perfectly safe. The short practice period should include a quick application of today's idea in this form. Whenever any thought of grievance arises against anyone, physically present or not, love holds no grievances. Let me not betray myself. In addition, repeat the idea several times an hour in this form. Love holds no grievances. I would wake to myself by laying all my grievances aside 
and wakening in him. That's lesson 68, Love Holds No Grievances. If you would like to read my commentary on the workbook this year, go to amytorresasin.com and click on Amy's blog. Namaste.